Hello, it is Reviews Day Tuesday and it is the final Tuesday of the month. So it is time for me to talk about my May favourites. I hope you have had a good month of May. How has it been for you? I have been keeping well. I am in lockdown. I've been staying home. I've been working and playing games and watching TV and not really doing very much else. And I've got a few things that I really enjoyed that I'm going to talk about today. I am going to start with TV shows, which is so often the case, starting with a little bit of repetition uh, from last month's favourites video, because I want to mention The Great British Sewing Bee again. We're now a few more episodes in. Um, it's been a really, really good series, this one. I really enjoy Joe Lycett as the host now, and the whole show just has this lightness to it. Uh, which just makes me smile all the time when I'm watching. And another thing that I'm really enjoying about this series in particular is that there's not an obvious front runner. Different people do better at different tasks and some people do really well at things they're not expecting to. And it's just making for a really interesting competition this year because, you know, you don't know what's going to happen each week. Also, Killing Eve is back on the BBC. It's on Sunday nights and it's also on the iPlayer. I think this is series three now. There are some new characters in this run that are really interesting, and I'm finding that the episodes are flying by. Finally, in the TV show sort of category, I've been watching another K-drama this month, and it's called She Was Pretty, and it's on Netflix over here. It's about a woman who was prettier when she was younger, and she finds herself meeting up with her best friend from childhood, and he doesn't recognise her, and they end up working together, and he still doesn't know that she was his childhood friend. Not the best description there, there are a few more things that are important to the plot. I thought I knew what the show was going to be like um, from that, you know, description and from various tropes that I have seen in the past, but it did a pretty good job of surprising me with how it told its story, and it also has really interesting characters. I'm not sure there's a single character, not even pretty minor character that isn't somehow interesting and distinct. So I was pleasantly surprised with that show. Now a game, yet more repetition from my last favourites video, but I can't not talk about the Final Fantasy VII Remake again. I'm continuing to play it on Twitch on Fridays and it's just so good. The story is great, the characters are great, it's really fun to play, there's so much variety, there's a surprise in every chapter. I really recommend it, I look forward to playing it each week. Now a live show, sort of. I've been continuing to watch the National Theatre at Home series that they've been putting on their YouTube channel. I've watched a few this month, but my favourite that I have seen, I think, so far in the whole series is The Barbershop Chronicles. Really great show, it's in the round. It's set in several different barbershops across the world at sort of the same time, and they're often slightly linked by characters and situations. But I was so impressed with it. Um, completely different to all of the other shows that they have put on their YouTube channel so far, and I would love to be able to see it in person at some point in the future if I can. Now a web series. As you may know, Critical Role has not been on uh, during the lockdown, but the cast have been doing another smaller show from their homes. There have been three episodes so far and it's called Narrative Telephone. Basically one cast member tells a short story and then it goes through the cast and each cast member has to um, narrate the story from memory. It's just really funny and fun and it's just a great way to spend an hour. It's very chaotic. The first episode is slightly shorter, it's only half an hour long, but I feel like they've sort of hit on what the show should be like now and now from episode two it's an hour long pretty much. Definitely worth a look if you are missing Critical Role and even if you're not, um, it's a good show, it's fun. I'll link to it in the description below actually if you want to check it out. Now finally today, a present. My mum has been making various crocheted creatures during the lockdown down and she has made me a dragon. Isn't it awesome? So good! He's perfect! He's called Drake and he now sits on my bookcase and you can see him in the back of all my streams. Very happy with my new dragon friend. So that is it for today. I would love to know what you think about any of the things I've talked about today and also what are some of your favourite things from May. I hope you have been keeping safe and well and let's move across to the end screen. If you'd like to see my latest video or some more favourites videos, then you can do so below me here. And you can also subscribe to my channel or visit my website if you wish to beside me here. And also, if you fancy checking out my Patreon page, the link to that is in the description below. I hope you have a great day, a great week, and a great month, and I will see you soon.